Now, uh, we would talk about this in the news about drones. New proposals mean that anyone who buys one of these drones, you know, the, these unmanned flying things that you can remote control, um, will have to register it and perhaps take a test as well on how to fly it safe, safely. The government is launching a consultation on safety measures following a number of reports from pilots of near misses. Uh, Peter Golbavi is an exper experienced drone user. He says uh, simple and sensible regulations are needed. What I've seen of the new rules, they're extremely complex and there are four different categories of drone and the more complex you make them, the less people are going to pay attention. We should really have a very simple set of rules which say stay safe, consider other people. The thing you're flying is potentially dangerous. Dom Robinson is a commercial and uh, leisure drone user from Rottingdean. Do you agree, Dom? Good morning, Neil. Morning. Um, specifically with that there should be more regulations yeah. or that the regulations that are being proposed are too complex? Well, for, let's do the first thing first. Should there be more regulations? Um, well, the regulations in the UK are actually quite effective. The, the, uh, I think they're, they're, they're very well drawn up and they've been a bit of a shining light for communities around the world. Even the FAA has referred to CAA regulations as a, a good working formula for, um, for both the hobby and for commercial pilots, I think. So broadly, I think the CAA is doing a good job. I think the complexity, like with uh, many laws and regulations, is, uh, is actually education, making sure people are aware of them, uh, and uh, and actually, when there are um, problems, how, how you enforce those? Right. Uh, so, are you uh, suggesting uh, that, that 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 we may get regulations which are too overbearing coming in? Well, so the regulations that Peter was referring to, if he's mentioned. Do you know what, Dom? Let, let's try and get the Dom back on a different line. Will I can't I can't. <laughs> it's, I'm afraid it's breaking up, and we want to hear what he has to say. So we'll come back to Dom in just. A, sorry, Dom. We'll come back to you in a bit. <laughs> Now, let's get back to Dom Robinson, who is a, a drone user from Rottingdean. Hello, Dom. Hi, Neil. Hi. Hopefully I'm a better line. Yes, Don't... much better. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but it, 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 I did, didn't want your words to be staccatoed and, and unintelligible. <laughs> no, now, what's in, we're talking about these new regulations, uh, which, which may come in for, for drone users, and there's a consultation out at the moment. Now, a lot is made of drones getting in the way of aeroplanes and these near misses. What do you make of that? Right, well, there's a, there's a fraught and contentious space. So uh, I'm going to put something out very contentious. If you watch very closely on the headlines, there's an organisation called BALPA, the British Association of Airline Pilots, which are always quoted whenever there's a pressure to regulate drones because of uh, the risk to passenger jets. And as the British mm. Association of Airline Pilots, you'd, you'd kind of expect that. Um, mm. There is a counter side to that argument, which one could argue that it's protectionism, because, of course, over time, as we uh, automate and introduce technology into various environments, pilots are, are gradually um, faced with the fact that many of the roles that they play may well be replaced with automation. And we've just seen Amazon doing its first delivery with, with deliveries by drone, and in fact, uh, 7-Elevens, uh, I think, just clocked up 77 uh, drone deliveries in the States uh, as well. So obviously if you're a pilot, you're looking at a technology coming in which one day may be sitting in your seat instead of you. You're suggesting, uh, therefore, that anything you can do to protect your job, you would try and do down. That, that's yeah, that's so a big conspiracy fear, theory, fear, isn't it? Fear-mongering amongst the public about the risk from uh, a toy uh, is obviously um, is obviously a good way to 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 ensure that protection. What would happen if but, if a drone ran into a plane though? Come on, I mean it, it could it could be uh, well uh, there, there's like a bird strike. And I think I, I think we're in the land of bird strikes. That, you know most planes will survive on uh, if there's an engine outage on 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 the other engine. Uh, obviously um, there's a complication which your average drone obviously in most media photographs the DJI Phantom is the sort of familiar white drone moves at about you know uh, 20 30 uh, 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 miles an hour uh, to try and keep up the passenger jet or position yourself in the line of a passenger jet that's traveling at three four hundred miles an hour is extremely difficult uh, I fly racers they, they travel at 60 70 80 miles an hour um, and trying to get it through a, a gate, which I would suppose you could argue is the size of a, a jet engine, takes a lot of skill uh, in, in the first place. So it's, it's not something that's, I, I think, going to trivially happen. And therein lies the, the rub. You know, regulation, as it's brought in, is, as we've said on this programme many times before, it's not going to encourage ISIS to, to put down the post office and sign their drone up for, for, uh, for regulation or for a licence or anything. So 
The problem you then get is that licensing and regulation affects uh, law-abiding users, just like dry, drink driving law. Most people who are law-abiding won't drink and drive. But there are idiots out there who will ignore the law regardless of okay. the regulation. I, I hear the argument. Dom, thank you very much indeed uh, on news that there are, are, are plans to be a consultation on new regulations for drones. BBC Sussex.